Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. I'd like to explain and demonstrate to you today how to make an index in Word 2013. An index of course is a reference to what pages certain words appear on. We use the references tab up here in the ribbon and in the references tab in the index group there are two commands that we'll be using one is called mark entry the other one is called insert index the key to creating an index is to use the golden rule of all computing that is select then do so whenever I select a word or words then I can create my index from that selection by marking the entry Let's see how it works. The first thing I want to do is to choose that particular group of words there and then in the um, index group I'm going to click mark entry and here I see that that is my main entry and uh, I want to use the reference on the current page uh, I might bold the page number format at this stage and then I'll say mark. Now Excel by def Word by default uh, puts the paragraph markers on uh, you can turn those off if you wish but we'll leave them there for the time being. Now I'm going to close that particular um, window and I'll now go down to another page and find some other words that I might want to use in the um, in the index and I'm going to select this particular group of words here the attributes of an effective trainer I'll mark those by going to mark the entry and I just want it on the current page and I'll click mark now I'll close we'll go down some more pages and find other words that I want to include in my index of course the words are entirely up to you now what I'm going to do here is to use the word skills I want the index to include wherever the word skills appear so I'll double click on that word mark the entry up here in the index group and uh, there it is the main entry I'm just going to capitalize the S there uh, bold look for it on the current page and mark that particular entry and close and now just one more uh, for old time's sake and uh, we'll go down here and uh, look for um, apply the principles of adult learning so I'm going to select those words mark them and I just want to see those entries in the index those words in the index uh, by marking all of them so wherever <coughs> that phrase appears apply principles of ad adult learning I want uh, all pages to appear in the index there may of course only be one page that carries that phrase but I'm going to click mark all so uh, the um, window can now be closed and now I'm going to go down to the bottom of the document which is often where an index occurs so control end here I have a heading index with my insertion point over here on the left and I'm going to turn off these paragraph markers I don't need them anymore so in the home tab I'll turn off the paragraph markers and now I'll go to the references tab and insert the index and I want to right align the page numbers uh, with the tab leader I only want one column it defaults to two so just be a little bit careful there if you only want one column for your index and let's see what happens when I click OK there is my uh, index uh, in um, alphabetical order down here ASTW and uh, I could of course uh, format uh, that uh, that color there in the index if I needed it's appeared in blue because that was the appearance of that particular text when I selected it by marking it and because I said only show me <coughs> the uh, index uh, by marking and not mark all for example the word schools may have appeared on uh, uh, perhaps 10 pages so if I had marked all 
then it would have shown me the 10 page numbers or however many pages that word would have appeared on. So it's really quite simple to create an index in uh, uh, Word. I'm just going to uh, select those words there. and um, make sure that uh, they're capitalized as I wanted to see them. If you don't want the capitalization you can in fact amend it by simply editing the uh, uh, the words in the index. So that's entirely up to you of course as to how you want it to appear. So don't forget to subscribe there are lots more tips, tricks and procedures for Excel, Word, PowerPoint and Access on the channel. We would love to have you as a subscriber of course and would you believe folks we also like likes and comments. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time.